Hi, welcome to my garage. Today I will be fitting this uh, aftermarket fender to my cafe racer. It, uh, I will put a link in the description uh, on what type it is. Very reasonable. I think it cost around, was it 26, 28 dollars? Uh, and I think it fit uh, very nice to this uh, bike. The width is uh, suitable and I think the length is suitable. Quite nice. So, the rule of thumb is that you should have one centimeter of clearance here. So, what I figured out was I had this cable and I can just put this cable over here and then I will be sure that I have at least one centimeter of clearance when I am fitting it. So let's just add some tape so it uh, sticks to the tire. Yeah. I guess since it's an extra hole there, that's probably for mounting some uh, hoses to the to the brakes or something. So I guess that is back. I think it's uh, symmetrical. So the front and back isn't too dangerous. So it will be like this. Yeah, looks nice. But as you can see, it doesn't really fit. So the mounting holes to the fork doesn't uh, match. And uh, I think it's a bit wide. So I think I need to make a new one. This is uh, one and a half uh, millimeter steel. So I have some two millimeters. It's the same I would use for my brackets. Uh, I have 1.2 millimeter, but since I'm gonna slim it down, it would be nice to go up a uh, dimension there so it's more sturdy. So my first job will then be to do some uh, measurements and uh, create at least a mock, a template, a first uh, test of a bit slimmer and a mounting mechanism that uh, fits to my forks. I used uh, two different methods for uh, getting the spot welds out, but uh, either way I got dents where the spots had been. And here I have to uh, have a, nif a nifty trick for you. Using a bag of uh, sand, I use my uh, sandblasting uh, sand here uh, as a surface for uh, even out this dents is a very good method. I put on the cloth here to avoid getting a hole in my plastic. And then it's just uh, using a rounded uh, hammer, knocking on uh, where the dents are uh, and uh, trying to get it even. Taking some uh, checks on the backside to see that you get it flat and nice. This is a very nice method for uh, fixing these kind of dents. Of course, I will need to use uh, body filler and do some sanding and uh, priming, of course, before painting. So uh, not 100%, but uh, much better.
I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm really excited now. I'm probably more excited than you. Anyway, I have uh, spent quite some time fabricating this. It took me four, six hours. Uh, the first one took uh, quite a while uh, and I have tested it once to see that uh, I'm uh, not f too uh, far off. Uh, the second one I haven't tested yet, so I haven't actually, so this is Premiere, I haven't actually tested this. This is real live, no this is not live, this is recorded, it's live recorded, that doesn't make sense. Forget it, I will test this now for the first time. Let's hope it fits. No. And it doesn't fit. Um, the second bracket I built, I haven't tested it. And I noticed that my holes, comparing to the first one, yeah. They are a bit close, so I need to uh, widen them a bit. Give me a sec, I will be back soon. Okay, I'm back, that took a while. I couldn't find my round uh, hand file uh, suitable for this hole. Always remember to put your equipment back to the drawer where it should be. Okay, let's try second attempt. First arm for the fender, looks good so far. Is it arm or is it uh, foot or what is it? I need a wrench. Now comes the most exciting part. Will it fit? I will show you that in the next episode. No, just kidding. I think it fits. Yes, I'm satisfied. So now it's just figuring it out uh, exactly how I'm gonna match up this and put in some spot welds. And also I need to uh, fill the holes that I drilled out from the previous uh, spot welding.
then comes the rewarding task on putting everything together. If it fits. One. Two. Looks promising. Three. And the last one. Yes. Just give me a sec. I'll... Uh, Yes, and there you got it. Ah, oh, it looks nice, centered. Yeah, I'm happy. Ooh, this has been uh, actually a project without any problems. It just took a while, but finally the fender is here. Ooh, I'm stoked and I really liked it. Yeah, I can recommend this one. Absolutely. Next job then will be, I think, the turn signals. Front and rear. Also the rear um, tail, tail uh, lamp. And uh, yeah, it's starting to uh, come together now, this bike. It's uh, really exciting times. The exhaust and um, lowering foot pegs, doing some modifications uh, around that area. Um, then I think uh, it's not uh, too far off. Uh, I'm gonna try to start it. It hasn't been uh, run in two years. When I bought it, it was uh, running in good condition. Um, so next thing will be to, or not the next thing, but eventually I will change oil, do some uh, maintenance, and uh, try to get it running again. And it's actually a nice weather now here in uh, Norway. So uh, yeah, can uh, go for a test ride pretty soon. So next video, turn signals. Hope to see you then.